from 2018. And may I hand you the photo album? Is that okay? Because I'm going to have you both. <coughs> I want you both to go through it. Just to look, you're going to see there are all kinds of photos in there. There's photos of people. There's photos of places. Yes? Thank you. And what I'm going to ask you to do is I'm going to ask you, please, to, I want you to open it up to a photo. Go ahead, open it up to the photo you like. Now, there's a photo on the left, and I want you to keep it wide open. Once you get it, I can't see it. But I want you to open it to the people behind you, and everyone can see it. And as you look at it, you're looking at, I believe there's probably a person on one side. There is a place on another side. I don't want to see it. Yeah, I, I didn't. Okay. So there's a place on one side. There's a person, yes, on the other. And so I am. I, I want you to tell me. Um, are you focusing on the place or the person? Uh, the person. Okay. Please concentrate on that person. I cannot see it. It's a man. And you can tell this individual was a president. And in fact, it's interesting because it's President Obama, isn't it? And on the other side. I'm looking at four other presidents. In fact, you're looking at Mount Ru Rushmore. Is that correct? Okay, thank you. Thank you. Now, I can't go too far with this because it's plugged in. I brought a light bulb. This light bulb represents what we've been doing in this course. What we've been doing is the acquisition of knowledge so that the light turns on inside our brains. And when it comes time for the exam, I don't want you to be nervous. I don't want you to be anxious. Because what's going to happen at first when you look at the exam, the knowledge that you've brought together throughout the whole week of this course is going to bring little flickers of light. May I ask you to hold your hand out, please? Because I'm going to set the light bulb into your hand. And I want you all to concentrate on that light bulb and send your energy into that light bulb. Because as you do, as a collective group, you will bring your energy to the exam when it is. And the light of knowledge is going to light up inside of each and every one of you. And you all will do extremely well on the exam. I really appreciate you all coming today. And I thank you very, very much. And one last effect before we go. One of the things I really like about the hotel where I stay when I'm here is they still have newspapers. And I still get a USA Today. And what I want you all to do is I'm going to ask you all just to take a peek as I go through this newspaper. And if you see something memorable that you remember, I just want you to tuck it away because we're going to do something with this newspaper. And what we're going to do also illustrates what we have done throughout this course. This is the illusion of me tearing the newspaper in pieces. And you see, the course gives you little snippets of information throughout the entire course. tearing the newspaper up into sections just as we are taking pieces of knowledge into small snippets 
throughout this course, on a daily basis, you're getting small pieces of information. You don't want to leave a mess. So I'm picking up all of the pieces For the exam, we're going to bring all the pieces together, except that little piece that just <laughs> and that little piece. And hopefully, this allows us to bring all that knowledge together so that on the day of the exam, everything comes back together in our newspaper is completely restored. And you can see the areas that you looked at. And please don't feel constrained. You may express your applause at any moment. And I thank you all very, very much for having allowed me to return to share with you my passion for medical jurisprudence and medical. Health.